Welcome back to Resident Evil 4 VR. Last time, Leon had a stomach ache, and Ashley is gone once again. It happens quite a bit. Ashley goes to and fro in this game. Uh, we're going to have to follow Sadler and Ashley, see if we can catch up with them. Yep, here we are in, uh, well, they describe this as the chapel. Some gold bars. I don't see any seats in here. No pews. I don't know how anyone would... I guess it's standing room only in the chapel on the island. When you come for, you know, weekly services. Our plan... L. Billy Amigdale... hard to make anything out. I just want to see, is that actually like Sadler's signature or something? I don't know. Let's, yep, okay. Let's have a look at that file. Our plan. Because of that agent, we lost Chief Mendez and Ramon... Nevertheless, everything will proceed according to plan. I must admit, however, the loss of my loyal men is a bit disheartening. But I will deal with it. Replacing that loss will not come easy. I must choose wisely, for the Plaga reflects the conscience of their hosts. If chosen poorly, they could betray me. I need men who will swear their allegiance to me. I've learned my lesson when Sarah betrayed me. I will not make the same mistake again. In this important hour, I cannot and will not have anyone stand in my way. It's tough getting loyal people, even if you're Sadler and you can put parasites in them. Mind control parasites. You still don't know if, the, if you can trust people. He could trust Mendez and Salazar, I guess. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> What's this? Ada is in league with this strange Biscard man? And, well, I mean, we already established that, you know, she's working for Wesker. We only saw that scarred man in one cutscene so far. Uh, it was with Sadler. Sadler was ordering him to get the girl. Saying that Sal Salazar had his chance. Well, I mean, it looks like that Sadler himself got the girl. The scarred man never showed up at the island. I'm sorry, at the castle. I guess he's been here the whole time. Hey. Story full. Let's see, what can we do here? Well, can combine a couple of green herbs.
However, even though Ada and the Biscario'd man seem to be working together, well, they don't trust each other. And they don't like each other. And the man was threatening to uh, to kill Ada if if she if he felt that maybe she was thinking of betraying Wesker. Ada, and so Ada sowing some doubt, saying, well, actually, she's known Wesker much longer and is much tighter with him than maybe this man thinks. But I guess the important part of that cutscene is to realize that the scarred man crowd... Am I shorter than I should be? Like, I'm eye level with a doorknob. I wonder if there's something... Did I, did I set the height correctly? I'm, I seem very short. Well, we'll see. It seems that Krauser is not actually working for Sadler, but maybe he's actually working for Wesk. Well, I mean, it's... They just said it in the cutscene. They made it quite clear. He also said that Sadler sniffed at... Okay, I seem to be at the okay height for this control panel. Maybe it's okay. Krauser said that uh, Sadler sniffed out their little game. So uh, maybe Sadler and Krauser are on the outs. All right, got to get ready. I can't believe it's been Krauser the whole time. Crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> The sample Sadler developed, that's all. Leave Ashley out of this! Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. You got her involved just for that? in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Oh, hold on, we got a call. Enjoy the reunion with your old friend. As a matter of fact, I did. Wonderful. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? 
a senior moment, perhaps. Oh, oh. <laughs> Enjoy the fun. Sadler seems like a jovial man. Also, it's, I also like this cutscene where they introduce Krauser, and Leon's shocked. It's it's Krauser. It's been him the whole time, and when this is the first game he's appeared in, it's an odd choice to do that. Um, Krauser says, I, "Oh, I died two years ago. That's what they told you." It's like I guess that's what they told me. I've never seen you before. We're like a number of games into this series, and like they're, I don't know, they're acting like we know this person. We do not. And I guess if this was the first RE game you played, you might think that Krauser was a returning character, and he is not. He's just this guy that they introduced for this game. Let's go to Sadler's quarters. But Leon and Krauser know each other. They've had a history, and Krauser's emergency stop. One, two, three, four, five. Krauser is like the evil version of Leon. They have the same skill set. But it turns out Krauser was the one who kidnapped Ashley. The laser hallway. The thing from the Resident Evil movie that I guess, I guess Capcom liked. Gotta use that for the game. I guess it's like one of the, maybe the most memorable scene in the movie. You know, th these are the immersive VR controls. They should have an unlockable, dangerous VR mode where you actually have to make these jumps. And I mean, it, it would be a bad idea to do that but I kind of want them to do that. I'm like a little child reaching up to press the button. I'm not really sure what's going on with my height, if it's supposed to be like that or... or not. Sadler has to do that every time he comes to his throne room. This good luck emerald that he keeps on his throne. It's a question mark. There's no time for this. Oh, but because of that, we do see that up there. An elegant headdress. Not the first one of these we have found. So clean in here. Not used to things being clean in Los Illuminados' uh, various bases. All right. I mean, I might as well just get in this chair. Here we go. Yep. Sadler, get the girl. Salazar had his chance. I'm going to pull out my, my communication device to mock Leon. Did you have a good time with your reunion with your old friend? Well, no, we can do that, but we don't have time to do that. Looks like Sadler has, like, a little escape elevator behind his throne. Just in case if it's needed. He did say he was going to introduce us to it, without really saying anything about what it is. However, hold on a second, let's, um, look at the map. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so there's a glowing spot on this. So you remember, Ash, uh, Ashley, Leon threw, like, a tracer onto Ashley when, um, when she was being led away by Sadler. So we still do have that signal. That is where we are headed right now. We're going towards the tracer. Hmm, inventory full once again. Inventory is getting full pretty quick. I did get this rifle last time, so it, it's taking up more space in the old inventory. I do have plenty of health items. Do have a few grenades, incendiaries, and flashes. Um, you know, doing pretty good on ammo all around. Uh, anything I should be using here? 
Well, if I loaded this, would that... Okay, yeah. Got rid of the box in the inventory. And of course, here's our friend. Lewis's memo number four, a fourth memo. What does Lewis have to say from beyond the grave? I'll report my findings about the Plagueis here. The Plagueis has three distinct characteristics. One, as mentioned previously, the Plagueis have the ability to manipulate the, pr the behavioral patterns of their hosts. Two, the Plagueis are social organisms. By this, I mean that instead of living individually, they live in perfect social harmony. It's believed that they have a collective intelligence. This type of behavior can be seen among insects such as bees and ants. However, this kind of social behavior is rarely seen among parasitic organisms. Perhaps it was a learned behavior by the Plagueis. I'm finding out if this has any relationship with their first characteristic. 3. The Plagueis have exceptional adaptation skills. They are able to live off many kinds of organisms by creating a symbiotic environment quickly. This ability, when combined with their social behaviors, allows them to interact intelligently between hosts, regardless of the host organism. So, there are like Plagueis dogs, and I guess the intelligence of the Plagueis dogs are the same as Plagueis people. And like, if there were just like Plagueis animals, like rabbits, or alligators. I guess it would be like the same thing. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a human or what. I don't know if there are alligators here in this far off un unidentified part of Europe. Let's pretend there are. I am ashamed to admit that my pure fascination with the Plagueis, in hindsight, has blinded me to the true research objectives of the Los Illuminados. Even with the knowledge that Sadler was going to abuse the results of these experiments, I could not pull myself away from my research. As a result, I am just as responsible for this whole mess as he is. I see now that I was wrong. But can I stop their evil plans alone? The answer, no. But fortunately, he would not be alone. He would still die, but I mean, there would be other people who would be able to take up the fight. What's the merchant? Can you believe this? Science? Scientific advancement being abused? For power? It's a sad situation. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Inventory's full. It's a red herb. Um, I could use this green herb on, on Leon. Let's just do that. Welcome. Got some rare things on so What are you buying? Uh, anything to tune up. Well, the striker's fully loaded. So, not on that. I did just put ammo in- Oh, I can't do anything here. I've already maximized the mine thrower. This is fully loaded. Yeah, I can't do that. Rifle. Pretty sure that's fully loaded. Yeah. Mag. I have not been using the mag. Oh, I can get another firepower upgrade. Is that all, stranger? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. We're, uh, back to five digits when it comes to money. Like, the big thing that seems to drain your money is when you get into the big upgrades. If you want to upgrade all the weapons, uh, that seems to be a very big part of what is gonna take your money. Back any time. But we might have a reason to use the Magnum fairly soon. And we want it to be as powerful as possible. Oh, yeah. Inventory full. Let's not forget the inventory is full. Well, I don't... There's probably nothing to do about it right now. We'll just have to leave this yellow herb behind. So a strange thing is, uh, shipping containers in these larger containers. And the larger containers are chained to the ceiling hanging over this bottomless abyss. What a strange thing. A 
Ashley. What is that? All right, well, this is it. Got to press two buttons to open that up. Inventory's still full, but... Maybe I'll be using some items here. That might end up being the case. Well, okay, that's a reason to use an item. Yeah, maybe I should just use one now. Uh, yeah, that did a, a fair amount of damage to me. Pop one of these. <sighs> we have a time limit running down, you might notice. Let's get to this door and pull this lever. Oh, reach, reaching so high. Well, fortunately, that container fell into the abyss and took it with it. No room? No room. Well, he's an agile, an agile fellow, this it. Excuse, please. Excuse. Time limit's going. Time limit's going. Eh. Well, he was on that one, too, but... Oh, add a handgun bullets. Probably should... Probably the TMP would be good for these little targets. He was on that container too, but you know, maybe you might have a feeling that perhaps he survived that fall as well. He's got big scissors. Big scissors coming out the back. I wonder if that counts as his plaga. I mean, you would think that door is closed. You would think that his entire body is a plaga. But maybe his scissors whoop, are like the actual plaga coming out of his body. Let's head back around. Back to the door we go. And now that got him for good. No problem. Mm. 
Well, health is full. Don't have any handgun bullets, which would be useful. All right, I guess we'll just uh, we'll just leave it at that. All right, well, he is very good at surviving falls. We're in this little area by this cliffside, and we're trapped here with him. Or is he trapped here with us, is the question. That won't keep him out if he doesn't want to be kept out. But it will keep him there for a few seconds. Well, maybe it's about time to get the big one out. We haven't really used this yet, have we? Well, it looks like his, the head part of it is dead. So now the scissors part of it is in control. didn't register my doing that. I guess I didn't do it far enough. Okay, it worked that time. I guess my hands just did not go far enough to register the, uh, the QTE. Health is fine. And of course, he was carrying gold. All right, so that's uh, 
believe that's the first time we've been using the Killer 7. Worked very well. But just a little inconvenience for Leon. Getting in his way as he was trying to get into that door. Still, we'll, we'll never know why all those shipping containers were hanging there over this bottomless pit. Some things were just not meant to be known. This cable car goes back to where we came from, if we wanted to go back there. But, uh, I don't think I have any reason to. My inventory's full anyway. Not like I could get any items that I didn't that I missed the first time. But we're going to the militant camp. We came out of the caverns. And came out into this house somewhere. Well, not like we're going to be able to pick anything up. Well, so much for the militant camp, I guess. They're, they're all just milling around, and they... You know, maybe they shouldn't have had explosive barrels. Explosive barrels just sitting around where anyone could shoot them. It's very dangerous. I can see a door in the distance. I need to find another way there. I am getting bunches of handgun bullets now, but... Don't have a place to put them. Um... I could just could just use a health a health to max out and then start picking up some some handgun ammo here. I do use the handgun a lot. Be shame to leave that handgun ammo behind. And back underground we go. We did not spend that much time above ground. Spending a lot of time here in caves and caverns and such. And here, we find the blue stone of treason. Well, we've seen this kind of stone before. It means that we can now finally com complete our golden links. A statue with all the stones fitted in it. That's right. What were, th what were they? Redstone of Faith? Green Stone of Judgment and the Blue Stone of Treason. Faith, Judgment, and Treason. Odd choices for our three gems that the Lynx represents. And here is our, is our friend, just in time. The three values of Los Illuminados. Faith, Judgment, and Treason. And there's a note here waiting for us. Krauser's note. So Krauser just wrote this down and left it. Did he type it on this? Krauser was just wandering around the island and thought that he would just, like, you know, get some of his thoughts down. And then he just left it here. It 
It turns out that old man Sadler wasn't buying me from the start. Even though I succeeded in kidnapping Ashley, I sort of sensed this when Sadler didn't completely let me in the loop. Under the circumstances, I had no other alternative but to call for her assistance. Perhaps she knew this was the way it was going to turn out all along. My guess is that her ultimate goal might be different from Wesker's and mine. This is just the perfect opportunity to find out. And after I get rid of Leon and retrieve the sample, I'll put her in a body bag along with Leon and send them both to Wesker. All right, so the reason Aid is here is because Krauser called her, because Krauser realized that he was not actually fooling Sadler. Sadler knows that Krauser was working for someone else. Does Sadler know about Wesker? We don't know. But this is the reason Ada is here. And of course, both Krauser and Ada's mission is to get the sample, the Plagas sample, and get it back to Wesker. Welcome! Got some rare things on sale. What are you buying? Let's see. Well, TMP is only halfway up. So might as well get another capacity upgrade. Is that all straight? <laughs> sure. Thank you. I use some ammo for the Magnum. Sure, why not? Max that out. <laughs> Thank you. I guess the exclusive upgrade is not available yet. Maybe that'll be... I don't remember what the exclusive upgrade for the Killer7 is. But uh, we will see about that as we go on. Oh. What are you selling? I do have some treasures to sell, don't I? We have this beautiful, elegant headdress. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. We have this dignified pocket watch. And we have this rare ancient golden lynx with all of the ex accessories. It's a very rare collector's item. There we go. 55,000. Oh, don't forget some no, emeralds. Five emeralds. Nothing to sneeze out. 70,000 all together. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Let me just what see something. Boy in. Okay, look at the what he's selling. Okay, yeah, rocket launcher is available. Weird how the first aid spray doesn't seem to come back into stock. I don't need a rocket launcher right now. I just wanted to make sure that any time that it was for sale and there is another uh shooting gallery in the island if you wanted to do that but as for what i want to do right now uh, i probably should save i have a feeling that this level might go maybe just a little longer than my recording limit so i might as well just split this into two might as well just do that now okay uh where are we um, I know, I know I should, I know I should type, type with my two fingers, hunt and peck, as Leon, Leon's not much of a typist. He does have to hunt and peck. Um, it, sure. We, we just fought it. It's succinct. Now let me just, uh. Stop the recording, start it again, and uh, just to make sure that we're good. All right, back to recording. I'm gonna go on my way. See you later. Oh, actually, this is back the way we came. This is the ladder we want to take. All right, well, we made it past this fence. Ah, can't take that, huh? Hmm. Hate to leave Magnum ammo behind. I mean, we don't use the Magnum much, of course. But it's good to have. Um, you know, I'm not using the rifle much. Let's, I think I'll just get rid of some of that ammo in favor of Magnum ammo. All right, let's head to Krauser's stronghold. How ominous. Yeah, that's right. 
We can get a good look at the environment, this sort of crumbled... Not sure what you would say this is. It's ancient, definitely. Some sort of ancient fortress, possibly. It's in pieces now. So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? Where's Ashley? Do you really want to know? She's beyond that gate. But you'll need three insignias to open it. What are you gonna do, Krauser? There's one in the north, and the other in the east. And let me guess, you got the last one. It pretty much means you're on a tight leash. Sounds like you thought this one out pretty well. All right, time for our big fight with Krauser. He was shooting explosive arrows at us. Now he's coming. Let's see, what do I want? Eh. Hey. 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 Uh. 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 Knifed him off. But where did he go? He vanished. Boom. In a flash. Get a higher vantage point, but we still don't see Krauser anywhere. He's a master of stealth. We do want to keep our knife ready, as our knife is quite effective against him. I mean, I guess the hint for that... Leon, run. That's what I'm talking about. Run, Leon. Oh, talking. He is very athletic. He loves cartwheeling and backflipping. He loves it. I was about to say, I guess the hint that the knife is effective on him is the knife fight cutscene that we have. He likes using a knife himself, but maybe a knife is a pretty good weapon to use on him. It won't open. Pieces are missing. That's right. We got crests in play. We got crests that need to be put into depressions. You thought we saw the last of that. You were wrong. Crests are needed. Well, no, I mean, I guess Krauser did say that crests were needed. He said there were three. There are two of them lying around the area, and he's holding the last one. We already up. Oh, we already know that. Hold on. Let's see if we. Let's see if the rifle could be use, useful here. Got you up guard, didn't I? Oh, we're talking. Oh, we're talking. Good. Knocked his hat off. He's back flipping like crazy. Good, Leon. All right. He realized I guess he wasn't going to be able to run up here. Would have been silly for him to keep trying to do it. He loves it. That's what he's talking about. We well, can't get through here because, well, I mean, I could just reach in. Like, if, obviously, you can't do this in the original game, but you could just no, no, that doesn't. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. But where did Krauser go? He could be anywhere.
Leon has to be alert at all times. I mean, I know, I know my inventory is full. I know it is, but I keep trying to pick things up anyway. How's my health? Yeah, health is doing okay. Well, that looks like a crest. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. A psycho like you can't bring order or balance. You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? I can't believe they brought politics into Resident Evil. That's what I'm talking about. How dare they? Uh. Well, clearly, Krauser has found a new purpose in life. A new reason for being. Now, my health is a little lower. Maybe now it's time for uh, some restorative. Krauser has found some kind of purpose. He feels this world is crazy. It's gone mad. And it could, the only way to bring balance to this crazy world of ours is through science. And by science, we mean uh, turning everyone into, into monsters. It's the only way. The only way. I don't hear you coming up with a better idea. You know, say what you will about Wesker, at least the man has ideas. At least the man's trying to come up with solutions, even if the solution is turn everyone into monsters. You know, it's something. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Well, we got one of the three crests. Pushing that statue on that plate made the bars here go up. Oh, Krauser's got drones. A little spider drones. Krauser did really spend a lot of time setting this whole thing up, didn't he? It's like when, um, when we had that scene where Sadler told Krauser to take, to get the girl and take care of Leon, you know, might have thought that Krauser was just standing around doing nothing. But no, he was spending time just setting up this whole, this whole area for his little game with Leon. What is it that you fight for, comrade? My past, I suppose. <laughs> Umbrella. Umbrella was a long time ago. I think that we've gotten over Umbrella by now. I mean, yeah, it was like an unpleasant situation, certainly. But you can't live in the past. Bars came down as we walked through. Only one way to go. Let me just check something. Can't combine two reds together. Can't do that. Uh, 
That's where the door, where the crests are. It's an overhead view of the entire place. But more importantly, the second crest is right here. Two down, one more to go, Krauser. <laughs> we'll see about that. Witness the power! You've lost it completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. All right, it's time for the big knife fight with Krauser. Except instead of a knife, he decided to go with a big knife. In in turning his arm into like a big knife wing. Hold on. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Uh. Uh. Fortunately, I do have these herbs. The fight has ended. We have his crest. And the place will explode in less than two minutes. That's plenty of time. Krauser, what happened to you? You used to be a good guy. I can't believe that this is what happened to our old buddy Krauser. It looks like he has like maybe the beginnings of some eyeballs in his arm. Does that mean, like, the arm came from the G-Virus, possibly? Is he eyeballed up? I assume it's not Las Plagas, because then Sadler could mind control him. I assume this is like a Wesker thing that was done to him. Well, good night, sweet prince. And you don't have to fight him with the knife. It's, it's just fun to fight him with the knife. It's also surprisingly effective. All right, here we are at the door. It won't open. Pieces are missing. Like this piece, piece of the holy beast, eagle. There. And maybe this piece, piece of the holy beast, panther. There. And I believe this was the one we got from Krauser, piece of the holy beast, serpent. In we go. And with that, Chapter 5-3 comes to an end. Next, Chapter 5-4, a, a ominous-looking chair? Is it ominous, or does it represent hope? We'll find out next time as we enter Chapter 5-4, the penultimate chapter of Resident Evil 4. Our hit ratio this time was 82%. Enemies killed, 25. Number of times killed, zero. And that was the Krauser fight. And, you know, playing this game again... Kind of makes me surprised. Like, I forgot that all of Krauser is in basically in this chapter. Like, Krauser, I remember being a major character from this game. But we see, like, one cutscene with him before 5-3.
And then once we get to 5-3, we get to the part where, like, we get Krauser talking to Ada, the cutscene. We get the knife fight cutscene with Leon and Krauser. Uh, then we get Krauser's notes talking about what's going on, what he's doing here. And then we get the big fight with Krauser. And, uh, that's all of Krauser for the game. We just saw him during, uh, one of the castle chapters in the cutscene. He didn't, he barely said anything. So it's pretty much all in 5-3. And I was surprised at how much of Krauser is just in this one chapter, even though I remember him being a major character. Well... Turns out he's really only a boss for this one chapter, and uh, that's it. What kind of past does he have with Leon? Oh, they're not. It's not going to be told in this game. Was it? Uh, did they get into that in what? Was it Dark Side Chronicles? I'm trying to remember now. One of the um, one of the uh, I shouldn't say light gun because people weren't using light guns at that time. One of the uh, first-person shooter rail first-person rail shooters. I think there was like a mission that had Leon and Krauser back when they were teaming up. I don't remember it clearly. I think it was something like that. But we're not getting any background on these two in this game. Just that Krauser apparently used to be a good guy. Then he went missing. Leon thought he was dead, and when he came back, he's radicalized. He feels that the world order has to be overthrown, and the one man who's capable of doing it is Albert Wesker, who's going to do it by turning everyone in the world into monsters. For more on that, you can see Resident Evil 5, if you want to know how that went. Um... Poor Krauser. If only he didn't go down the wrong path. If only. I'll see you next time for more Resident Evil 4 VR.